Well, the, the great thing about alternative fuels is uh, we believe they, they play a significant role in helping us reduce our carbon footprint. So we've committed to reducing our emissions by 50% by 2050 and we believe biofuels, alternative fuels can really play a significant part in achieving that target. Uh, we've got a number of projects. The key project is a joint project with Selena, which is a technology company. Uh, it's a biomass to liquid plant, so it basically takes household rubbish, agricultural rubbish, and uh, turns it into jet kerosene. So, uh, obviously, as you know, uh, there's no biojet fuel uh, in the market commercially produced today. So BA is, uh, in order to meet its challenge is to reduce carbon is to to look for sources and as a more visionary uh, direction that BA brought to the table is to reach out to technology and clean technology and next generation producer like we are in order to partner with us as a more innovative way to bring out new fuels to the market. This plant will produce 16 million gallons of jet fuel per year, which is about 2% of our total uh, fuel demand. But we, uh, we fully expect that once this plant has uh, proved successful, we'll be build many more of these around the UK, and we hope other airlines will follow our lead and build these uh, around the world. Well, so certainly, you know, what we, uh, Selena, bring to the table is uh, to use uh, a, an existing technology, which is the production of jet fuel by Fisher Trope, which is currently produced by coal uh, and uh, it's currently being used in South Africa and by Sasol and the BA is currently using the fuel right now for its airline so therefore the fuel meets all the specification the standards vis-a-vis -vis safety uh, and that it work in jets and it meets all the certification which is a drop-in fuel from that standpoint uh, we're using giving BA a, a drop-in product which meets their requirement. However, utilizing coal uh, has a huge, a large carbon footprint. So Solena optimized that process by able to bring in a system that would utilize biomass and waste resources, which essentially are available today uh, without the need for uh, agricultural development and harvesting and growing the crop. So we're dealing with an existing biomass feedstock and that's the key because currently that material is available and our process allow us to extract energy from waste biomass in order to produce a fuel that is already demonstrated to be safe and usable in jet engine. Uh, so therefore it's a win-win situation and it's the, the driver for this clearly uh, is a demand for cleaner, more sustainable fuel. Um, key, key challenges uh, today are finding the finances to make the uh, capital investment. But uh, the key enablers here in, uh, in Europe and the UK are one, carbon pricing. So we'll be part of the EU emissions trading scheme from 2012. So there will be uh, uh, opportunity to earn carbon credits through use of biofuels. And then specifically here in the UK, landfill tax. So this, this, product, this plant takes product that other, would otherwise go to landfill. Uh, and there are quite heavy taxes here in the UK. So again, another key economic enabler that will make this, uh, make this uh, economically sustainable.